page number 98 fraction in numerical form represent half quarter and one third this is a pizza it is a pizza's picture it is divided into two parts each part of the pizza show half of the pizza we can write it as 1 upon 2 now two halves make one whole pizza in the next picture this is a pizza it is divided into four equal parts each part is called one quarter we can write it as one upon four this is a circle it is divided into three equal parts one part out of three parts is called one third as you can see in the picture we can write it as one upon three circle the correct option look at the first picture it is a circle it is divided into four equal parts now two parts are colored and two parts are white so which one is the correct fraction 1 upon 2 3 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 3 absolutely correct 1 upon 2 because half of the picture is colored and half of the circle is white similarly in the next picture look at the picture carefully 2 upon 3 2 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 2 yes it is 1 upon 2 because out of two parts one is blue and the other is pink so the colored part is 1 upon 2 identify and circle the shapes that shows 1 upon 3 now look at the shapes if the shape is divided into three parts and one part is colored that represents 1 upon 3 now in the first picture the first picture is divided into how many pieces into how many parts it is divided into four parts so this doesn't go you just cross it out in the next picture yes it is divided into three equal parts and out of that one is colored and two are uncolored that means this is one upon three yes you circle it in the next picture the next picture is divided into how many parts two parts so outrightly we just dismiss this picture because it is not divided into three equal parts for this for one upon three we need a picture that is divided into three equal parts circle the shape that shows one upon two first picture is divided into how many parts two parts just see are these parts equal in size yes they are equal in size good the second picture which is a circle it is divided into how many parts yes it is divided into two parts but are these parts equal in size no these parts are not equal in size so we just cross it out look at the next picture is it divided into two equal parts yes it is divided into two equal parts and the fourth picture it is divided into two parts but the parts are not equal so the triangle and the square these are the shapes that show one upon two right now similarly you do question number four Question number five, divide the given shapes into equal halves and color one upon two. Now you divide these pictures into equal half. For the first one, just draw a line in the middle of this D shape. It divides it into two equal parts. Color it. The line should be horizontal. Yes. And for the next two pictures you know how to do it now in the same way you do page number 100 coming to page number 101 now look at it fractions from 
1 upon 2 to 1 upon 10. In the first figure, it is divided into how many parts? Two parts. Name of fraction, 1 half because 1 half is colored. And this is how you write it numerically, 1 upon 2. In the next shape, it is divided into three equal parts. So number of parts, 3. Name of fraction, 1 third. And numerically you write it, 1 upon 3. In the next picture, into how many parts it's divided? Yes, it is divided into four equal parts. So how do you call it? What is the name of the fraction? It is one fourth. And this is how you write it. Coming to fifth one, it's the same. Then sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Look at the triangle. It is divided into two equal parts and one out of two equal parts is colored or half of the triangle is colored. Unit fraction. What is unit fraction? A fraction with the top number 1 or number above the line is 1 is a unit fraction. You see there are two numbers. One at the top of the line and the other one is below the line. The one which is at the top of the line is called numerator and the number which is down the line is called denominator. Look at the given circles. One part of each circle is colored. These show unit fractions. The first one is 1 upon 1, then 1 upon 2, then 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4 and so on till 1 upon 10. Look at the rectangle. It is divided into four equal parts. Three parts out of four equal parts are colored. We can write it in fraction form as three colored parts is equals to three. Total parts upon four. So this is three upon four. It is not a unit fraction. Now look at the given shapes. The first one is divided into 10 equal parts. Out of 10 equal parts, 5 are colored and 5 are uncolored. So we write it as 5 upon 10. The next one is, it is divided into 8 equal parts. Now the number of parts you write down the line, below the line, and the number of colored parts you write at the top. And we read it as 3 upon 8 or 3 8. In the next picture, the next picture is divided into 9 equal parts. Out of 9 parts, 5 are colored. And in the same way, you see the next two pictures. Then there is a circle, it is divided into 1 fifth is blue and 2 fifth is red. In the next picture, 3 eighths is yellow and 2 eighths is green. This means this picture is divided into 8 equal parts. Out of 8 equal parts, 3 are colored yellow and we write them in form of fraction as 3 upon 8 and we read it as 3 eighths is yellow. In the same way, out of 8 parts, 2 are green. So you write it as 2 upon 8 and you read it as 2 eighths is green. Is that clear to you now? Now do the rest of the questions yourself. On page 104, Look at each shape and circle the correct fraction. Just count into how many parts this shape is the first one, the first circle is divided. Start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is divided into 8 equal parts. Now you see which one? Where is written 8? Yes, in the third one is written 8. And out of 8, how many are colored? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
four are colored so we write it as four upon eight and read it as four eighths coming to question number three write the fraction for the given shapes the first one is a circle it is divided into four equal parts out of four equal parts how many are colored two are colored so you write it as two upon four and i'm sure now you can do the rest of sums yourselves with the help of your teacher question number four color the shape to show each fraction now the fractions are shown you have to color these figures the first one is divided into how many parts yes seven parts and how many of them should be colored right color four parts and then this represents four upon seven you are capable enough of doing question number two and three four and five yourself good luck Thank you.